We've previously seen in detail how Phoenix Live View works. In this lesson, we are going to see the layouts, how they work with regular views and live views, how to update the page title in uh, live view, and how to move a live EX template from the render callback to a separate file. So about layouts, we've seen that when a browser connects uh, to a live view route, it initially makes a normal HTTP GET request to get the fully rendered HTML page from the server. But our live view template is made by these uh, few lines of code. So where does all that HTML come from? Like regular views, live views are also rendered uh, in a layout. So let's start uh, with the regular views. When rendering regular views, for example, uh, this action in uh, index action in product controller, this action here, which uh, renders uh, a list of trades, uh, Phoenix wraps the view uh, using the root layout. So where do we find the layout templates? Here in lib poetic coins web, templates, layout. So we have root, live, and app layout. So Phoenix uh, wraps the view using the root layout and the app layout. The root uh, .html .leex template is used by both live views and regular views. The leex extension stays for live eex template and the syntax is the same as a regular EEX template. The app layout is the default application layout and it's used only when rendering regular views. By default, uh, this template has some extra code to render the flash messages, uh, but we can customize it as we want. We see that all the layouts have uh, inner content they call inner content. So you see here and also in the in, in root. And by calling inner content, we inject the render content inside the layout. So in case of a regular view, we first have the root layout and the app uh, layout is injected inside here. Then the rendered action, so this render index page, is injected inside the app layout. So if we uncommon this and we say products, for example, so we have this render page and if we inspect the page, we see uh, the root layout, which is uh, HTML, head and body. And then we see the app layout, which is this main tag here, and then our table, which is our uh, rendered uh, index action. So we have our rendered index action and the HTML is injected in the app layout and the resulting uh, HTML is injected in the root layout. By default, the root layout is defined in the router module and in the browser uh, pipeline. So you see here that we have this plug, put root layout and uh, the root atom, which means it's going to use uh, this layout view and the root uh, template. And it can be also passed to a route, for example, here in live, it can be uh, passed with the layout option, uh, the view, so poetic coins web, for example, uh, layout view, and uh, the root layout we want to use. Uh, so at the moment we just have the root layout, but if we create another uh, root layout uh, just for uh, this specific case, uh, we can set it here. While regular views use 
the root and the app layouts. Live view goes with uh, root and uh, live layouts. The live HTML LEEX layout wraps the live view and uh, its render as part of the live view life cycle. This means that the root layout is fixed while the content in uh, the live layout can be updated by live view. By default, we see that uh, the live layout has some extra code to render live flash messages. So let's take the browser and connect to the live route and inspect the generated HTML. So we notice that uh, the live layout is rendered inside the special live view tag. So when the browser connects uh, to a stateful live view process via WebSocket, in the Phoenix reply message, it receives the dynamic and static parts of the rendered live layout as well. So here we see that in response, we have, well, this number two, this element number two is, uh, is our, is our uh, view. But you see here that zero and one are the dynamic values of the live template. And here we have the static part of uh, the live uh, layout. We will see better in the next lesson how to use uh, live flash messages uh, with forms. Let's see now how to update the page title. Since the root layout is fixed, its content can't be changed by live view, with the exception of the title tag. In the root uh, template here, uh, we see that title tag is set by calling this uh, live title tag. So by assigning uh, a new page title to the socket, for example, uh, setting uh, the updated price of a product, we change the page title. So let's go into our crypto dashboard and instead of available products, um, let's put just for this example, just one product, demonstrated one. So Poetic Coins, product, new, um, Coinbase, BTC, USD. So we have a list of just one product and we will have uh, a table with just one product and one trade. So here we are, uh, we know that the trade uh, will be uh, for uh, Coinbase BTC. So what we can do is update the socket. So the trades map. And then we assign a new value for the page title. And this could be, for example, um, the trade price. So we have uh, just Coinbase BTC USD and here in the title, we see that the price is updated. Okay, so if the root layout is fixed, how this can be possible? So if we inspect the WebSocket messages, here we see that there is this in the diff message, there is the T here, the T element, which is the title. Let's now focus on uh, our live EEX template. So we use the L sigil inside the render callback. This is a way of returning a live EEX template. But sometimes our template can be big. So sometimes it's better to put it in a separate file. We can create a new file, which is called with the same name of our live view and put our template. So we create a crypto dashboard live dot HTML dot L for live EEX. And inside here, we put our template. And then we can remove the render callback. and we also go back 
to the original code, so available products, and we remove at the moment this update title. And as expected, our live view is rendered correctly. 